uh, tuning in this morning. And um, yeah, I've got um, I've got something um, pretty short to share, which is something that I um, I actually have in my heart for um, a few days, and that's what uh, I've been sort of reading a lot recently. And um, and it's it's got to do with um, with us not being afraid of of the world in which we live today and um it mainly comes as a as a result of of obviously what's going on uh, at the moment with the coronavirus but but also just looking at the future and um and then realizing that it's not necessarily going to get any better in the future but but we ought not to be afraid and um that's that's mainly my 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 main sort of uh, message of encouragement this morning and um and it's and it's about um and it's about what we are here to do and we we got a, a sort of um a purpose and a sort of a, a a job to do and um and that's to basically um do the opposite of what people are doing and um and then there is there is something very powerful in uh, in in doing in doing that in doing what God's called us to do um, because as we we've all been saying more or less the same thing over the last few days, you know, it's about um, being being the sort of light on the top of a hill kind of thing, and um, and basically uh, being being in unity with one another and loving one another, and how that will show the world who we are. And and along those lines, it's it's something that I like to share. And um, uh, I don't know how to put it. I tried earlier how to put this verse on on my phone up on the screen. But if you go your Bibles, if you can look at um, John 17, Gospel of John um, 17, and this is the the last prayers of Jesus. Um, I think at the Mount of Olives uh, or the Garden of Gethsemane, whichever it is. Um, and it's from uh, verse 13 uh, all the way to verse 19. And for me, this is really um, something that I read many, many times before. And it sounded nice in the past when I read it. But this time, it just means so much more when you, when you realize the time that we're living. And um, I remember a few days ago, Peter Ruffett mentioned that after after the, the the disciples had stayed in Jerusalem for a while, they they broke out a big persecution and the, the church was scattered. And and I think under normal circumstances, when you read things like that, it could it could give you lots of fear or it could make you feel very fearful. But but Jesus prays here on John 17 uh, verse 13. It says, "I am now, I am coming to you now." I think this is Jesus talking, obviously, to God. But I say these things while I am still in the world, so that you may have the full measure of my joy within them. Um, I have given them your word, and the world has hated them. For they are not of, of the world any more than I am of the world. My prayer is not that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. They are not of the world, even as I am not of it. Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I have sent them into the world. For them, I have sanctified myself, that they too may be truly sanctified. And um, this, these verses for me are so much more meaningful now than, than any other time that I've read this passage. Um, because Jesus is saying that as, as he's just going back to the Father, that he's more or less finished the work that he's, he's been given by the Father to do on earth. And, uh, and that now he, he basically tells us that we, we, ought not to be, we ought not to be concerned with the world because the world basically is not going to be on our side necessarily, um, but Jesus says, "Don't don't take them out of the world." In in a sense, don't don't try to make them live in a little bubble, um, or, or or basically that they are not going to feel um, or be affected by what's going on in the world. But 
but that we are protected from the evil one. And I really feel in my heart that as we go about our, our daily lives, that we are more concerned uh, with being sanctified with the truth and, uh, and that we sanctify ourselves that basically whatever the world is doing out there. And I just, I just find um, this passage, it's so important because at the moment there is so much, um, there is so much um, talk of all kinds of, um, all kinds of, uh, um, schemes being developed as a result of this coronavirus. Uh, a friend of mine sent me a, a link to a, a petition at the moment to um, to sign up against this uh, COVID-19 um, bill that's being uh, rushed through Parliament in order for the government to have all these powers of um, intrusion and surveillance on people so that they can control uh, people's gatherings, that they can access people's uh, personal information and all of that. And, and then people are just basically scared and, and there's a lot of scaremongering going on. There is a lot of things you see out there and basically make you fear, you know. And um, I, just, I just really want to share basically that in, in Jesus, we, we are not to be afraid about what the world is doing. You know, the world is heading in, in one direction and, um, and we're heading on a different one. And our direction is to continue to basically be uh, be sanctified by the truth, and the word of God is the truth. And and I think these days that can be actually quite a challenge because people will not accept the word of God. They will not accept the truth. Will not accept what the Bible says. And uh, we we will be confronted to a point where. We will have to stand firm and uh, and realize that yes, th this is not exactly what the world wants. And uh, the Bible says that the world will hate us because they hated Jesus also. Um, but God is God is on our side and God is protecting us. And and this is Jesus' prayer for us. So Jesus intercedes to the Father for us, asking the Father to protect us from the evil one, that we can continue to stand ourselves and um, I think th this sometimes can sound a little bit um, a little bit boring to say sanctify but what that means is to keep ourselves to keep ourselves um, away from the influence of the world basically that, that's what it means to keep ourselves away from from what the world is trying to to put in our minds to put in our hearts and and basically do not make us be afraid of what the world can do against us so in a nutshell, that's really what I'd like to share. It's just that we, we ought to continue with basically what God has entrusted us to do and, uh, and, and, be, and be joyful in the Lord that he is with us and that, and that Jesus' intercession to the Father for us is that the Father will keep on protecting us and, and that we can stand on the truth of his word. Um, the last thing is there is so much out there that is relative truth. And uh, it's perhaps now more than ever before more relevant what you think is your truth compared to what the real truth is. And I really think that we, we ought to be very careful not to fall into the, in, in, into the how can I say, um, into the trap of relative truth. Um, but that we really focus ourselves on what the Bible says and, uh, and what Jesus is praying for us is that we basically sanctify ourselves and Jesus gives us a little example of what sanctification or basically what keeping ourselves pure means and it's for the benefit of others Jesus says I sanctify myself so that they too can be truly sanctified and I think what this means is that your effort to, to be pure and, and to remain separate from the world, will, will benefit others, mm. not just yourself. And uh, when you do things that sometimes can be a bit of a, a sacrifice or a, a bit of a, um, you know, an effort, and sometimes you think, well, wh why am I doing this? There is no point in doing this. That it's not only for you, but you do it for others also, or for the benefit of others also, just as Jesus did it, not for himself, but for the rest of us. And uh, in, in, in doing so, we remain, we remain strong and we remain together.
and uh, and and therefore you know I, I just encourage everyone that you know when when we go through times where it's really difficult where it's really really difficult um not to be not to be a part of the system or for example not to fall for the the, the trap of fear or of for example the trap of of panic and anxiety but that we remain ourselves um separate from all of that 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 we do it also for one another that we can make one another stronger and support one another so um Amen. Um, that's really what I, I like to share with everyone this morning, and uh, just encourage everyone to continue in in just basically keeping yourselves apart from the world, basically. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you, Joe. Terrific. Mm -hmm.